Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic day and you enjoyed the racing out at uh, Kenilworth. Even though there were some tough results, we still enjoyed the racing. Um, that's what we love about it. We're passionate about it. And I said Top Tipper, we're just trying to make you uh, enjoy your racing, uh, have lots of fun and make some nice tidy profit. Um, as you can see by the perms that we put out for you guys, they're not thousands and thousands of rand. Uh, we play according to the pocket and uh, we make sure that um, you can um, afford uh, putting out your bets. So I'm going to have the postman um, tipping out at Turfentain. He's going to tip an eight race program. So I'm going to hand you over to the postman. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, no matter where in the world you guys are. And again, a big warm, warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Before we get into the selections for Thursday, just some feedback, guys. Um, racing was disastrous on Tuesday. We had done the selections for the Vol. The meeting was, uh, or went ahead at Turfentain. I know there was a lot of you guys that said to us that you had stayed out, and kudos to you. You know, it's all sort of horses for courses, and those that stayed out, well done. Those that got involved, really, really unlucky. Honestly, we had no idea that they were going to change tracks. But thus far, we know that we've got racing at Turfentain on Thursday, the 18th of May. We know we are on the Stansard track, and please, Lord, did nothing change. There are eight races carded. The first race is due off at 12.15. It is a work riders maiden plate. Um, the races look easier earlier on and get um, a lot tougher as the day goes on. So just bear that in mind, guys. And we go through the card together. The first race, as I said, the work riders maiden plate over 1,600 meters. In the buy part, I'm just going to go two horses. My first selection here is the horse two, Spring of Alexa, from the Terry Yard. Nicely drawn at one, and I do think in this moderate field, I think this is the right horse to beat. The second selection is the one. This is Miss Christmas. This has let the side down on several occasions. Um, but again, in this field, good enough to run a drum. I think one and two will get us through our buy part. For third, I've thrown in four, Ideal Heart. I'm looking for an improved effort from that one. Um, and for fourth, I've gone for the eight, Chicago's Less. So race one, two, one, four, and eight. And I do think one and two will get us through there. The second race of the card, draw off at 12.50. Made and played over 1,600 meters. And we don't have to be too clever here. The obvious choice is horse number six. Royal Guard and then currently around about four and a half or five to ten. I think this will be the country's banker and in this field I'm bankering as well. Um, exactors guys, I'm going to go six by two. I think Archimedes is the um, hot to run second. I don't, I don't think we're going to get rich with Archimedes running second but still if it pays three rand or three rand fifty for the exactor maybe worth a small touch. So as I said, so I've gone six by two. For third, I've gone for one, uh, Kambula. And for fourth, I've gone for horse number four, Green Dynamite. And the six at Banker in all bets. The third race on the card, this is your for 13.25, maiden plate over 1160 meters. Um, those that have run, nothing too special. Very, very moderate form. Um, and I've gone for horse number nine, um capsaken this is craig zaki for the azzy yard i wish it was drawn a little um more on the outside um i certainly think that this doesn't have to be too great to win this race and is my first selection on breeding for second i've gone for the obvious this is horse number one and this is magic prince cabela Mazziani for the decock yard uh, is drawn on the right side of the track, may um, give a decent account of itself um, and could be anything. For third, we have gone for horse number three, and this is Saka Gold. 
also drawn on the right side of the track. Musigeni for the uh, Baron Virtus uh, event. Fosler Yard. Five pots, guys. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm putting all three. I'm going um, one, three, and nine. Um, as for the buy pot, pick six. Pff, smaller punters, banker. The one bigger punch is put in one and three. Uh, for fourth, I've gone for the other first time at eight turbo power. So race three, nine, one, three, and eight. Uh, buy pot, I'm going one, three, and nine. Pick six, I'm just going to throw in the one and the three. Fourth race on the card, due off at 1400 hours, a maiden plate for the girls, and again, over 1160 meters. And in this event, guys, we find the first of my value bets, and this is horse number three, Simply Magic. Last time out, um, had excuses. I think the, um, the, the, the field is much, much tougher than it meets here. I think it is drawn on the right side of the track, is third run after rest, and I think 92 is really, really good value. For second, I've gone for horse number eight. This is Francine. My apologies, not horse number eight. I've gone for horse number seven. Um, this is the favorite Duena. This is uh, David de Gavea for the pedigree yard. Again, was a fair effort first time out. Um, was running on. Again, for me, I wish it was drawn a little wider than it is, but still, if good enough, can win from there. And I've thrown that into run second. For third, I have gone for the eight. Uh, first timer again from the Azzy Yard. This is Francine. I think Francine is bred for a touch further, but um, doesn't have to be too special to win here. And I've thrown that one into run third. For fourth, I've gone for six. Uh, this is Primrose Path. Samanga Kamalo for the Broncos Yard. Uh, Samanga rode this one last time out. So at pace and tired, I think is drawn on the right side of the track and certainly good enough to run a drum here. So race four, we have gone three, seven, eight and six. The fifth race on the card, to off at 14.35, pinnacle stakes over 1,600 meters. Um, I don't think this is the easiest race in the world. I think it's quite a tricky event. Uh, narrow first selection is the two are the profit. Uh, Rachel Venica gets a ride for the uh, match at yard. Um, I'm putting a line through the last effort. Um, are the profit obviously did not stay the 2400 meters. Reverting back to the 1600 meters, I think this will suit this one down to the ground and has to be there when the whips are cracking. For second, I've gone for the one safe passage. Again, putting a line through that effort. Very, very disappointing. Um, did have excuses though, was bumps coming out of the gates and then took no interest. I certainly think that safe passage is a lot better than that. For third, I've gone for the seven. This is what fifth. Nasty drawn at one, 52 on his back. Third run after a layoff. And I think that those three horses, one, two, and seven, will be sufficient to get us through all exotics. Um, quartets, I'm going in for the three. This to run fourth coming back from a 19-week layoff, um, but maybe good enough to fill in one of the minor spots. So race five, guys, two, one, seven, and three. We move on to race six. This is due off at 15, 10, graduation plate, and again, over the sprint distance of 1160 meters. Going through this race, if number one was drawn on the outside, I would have banked this and everything. Um, we go and we look at the form of this horse. Um, last time I'm putting a line through that. Prior to that, a half a length or less than half a length to William Robertson seems to be better over the 1400 meters. However, with the rain that they've had in uh, Gauteng, sting out of the ground, I think will suit this one. But when we go through here, yeah, my narrow first section is horse number three. This is Wind Water, Keegan DeMello for the Johan Janssen van Furen yard. And again, guys, only reason I've gone for this as my first selection is it's drawn on the outside. Um, is out at the weights, but I think if Keegan can get first run on the fence, I think this will be very, very hard to catch. For second, I've gone for the four. This is Cleaver Green, Cabela Maciani for the De Kock yard. Again, last time out, um, I think needed the run. 
a lot better than that must be included in all bets. For third, I have gone for the, the quantum theory. Um, as I said, if it was drawn on the outside, I would have been more confident. Um, over a little further, probably more confident, but must throw this one in. For fourth, Mrs. Browning. Being negative here, I think, is drawn on the wrong side of the track, but the dogs are barking that this one is working well and should be included in everything. Um, all exotic scars throw in all four selections, and we've gone three, four, one, and eight in our selections. Seventh race on the card, due off at 15.45. Uh, mid rate at 86 handicap for the girls, and again over 11.60 meters. Please take note, horse number six, Vivacious Spirit, has been scratched, leaving us with a field of 12. And my first selection here is the second of my value bets. This is horse number three, What a Honey. Um, this is drawn 13 out of 13, Ray Danielson for the Hudalakis Yard. Um, go back and look at the rerun of its last start. Very, very unlucky. Couldn't get a run through. And I really, really think that around about 7, 8 to 1, I think this is great each way value. Remember, guys, when we have each way value, you put one unit to win, two units to place. Um, that way we will always make a profit. For second, I've thrown in horse number five. This is Cold Heart Stare, King and Demela for the Azzy Yard. We know that the Azzy uh, rate this one very, very highly. And again, must be included in all exotics. For third, I've thrown in the seven. This is Golden Aspen. Um, Marco van Rensburg for the uh, Cornet Spice Yard. This one runs well in the wet. And again, loves this course and distance. Uh, 8 to 1 as well. Throw this one in for swingers. This could make things pay. I mean, exactly 3 and 8 will pay bombs as well. So throw this one, throw this one in all um, bets. For fourth, guys, I've thrown in horse number 11. And this is what you're waiting for. Cabela Maziani for the Terry Yard. Um, I think, again, that this one did have excuses last time out, drawn on the right side of the track, carrying 56, and again, could certainly make its presence felt. So race 7, 3, 5, 7, 11, and I do think that 3 is nice value around about 7 or 8 to 1. We'll move on to the lucky lasts. Race 8, due off at 16.20. A may rate at 70 handicap for the girls. And again, over 1,160 meters. Guys, putting as much or as many as the budget would allow here. I think this is a tricky event. One does not want to go out the last leg. Even in the place accumulator, I'm throwing in all four uh, jackpots. I'm going to throw in f as many as our budget can allow. My narrow first selection, though, is the four Nettleton. I won well first time out, last time out, put a line through that run, did have excuses. Um, saddle did slip, um, and I think as well, certainly has a lot of scope for improvement, drawn in the middle to outside, and I think that this one is a narrow first selection. For second, I've gone for the three, time for charity. Rachel Venica will be claiming her one and a half for the Mowing Yard. A decent effort last time, last time out behind Samoa. Um, is a little bit off on the weights, and again, drawn 11, um, more on the outside, must be in with a tickle. For third, I've gone for the one, this is Queen of Gaul, Craig Zaki for the decock yard. We go and look, this one is certainly coming down in the ratings, was once upon a time a 94 met rating, now 76. I certainly think that this one should make its presence felt, drawn on the right side of the track, and again, as I said, throw this one in all your uh, permutations. For fourth, we've gone for the two Samoa. This one for us well last time out. We had this one as a value bet. I remember this one coming home really, really well at round about eight or nine to one. Fantastic odds. And Drew Clear, if Samanga repeats that um, type of ride, absolute uh, big, big chance. I just don't like the distance. I prefer it back over a thousand. That's why I've selected this one to run fourth. But guys, if you go through the card, there's several in with a chance. Um, again, just have a look before you take in quartets in the last go and see about the bias. If the bias is to the outside, then maybe you even got to take some lunatic chances, throw in the 14, throw in the 8. 
Um, these horses are all drawn on the outside. We don't want to go out to the last, guys. So in a very open event, we've got four, three, one, and two. Guys, please, 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 just um, look, look out for the weather conditions. Look out for jockey changes. Look out for betting on first timers. Remember, if they change venues, please be careful. We have our selections are for Turfontaine, and we are on the stand side track. That's where our selections are. If they change the inside track, obviously, then one has to readjust your permutations. Guys, take it easy. Look after yourself and break a leg. Stephen, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for your input, the postman. We really appreciate it. Thank you for your hard studying. I know you love it when you um, crack all your bets and you give the guys some nice, tidy profit. I see you've tipped your eight race program, your normal bar pot PA, jackpot one and jackpot two. And uh, you've got two value bets for the punters. Race four, number three, simply magic at nine to two, four and a half to one. And race seven, number three, what a honey at seven to one. I did look on bet 365. That horse has been backed in from 33 to 1, apparently. It opened at 33, and it's now 7. So please, Lord, let them arrive. Guys, all in all, enjoy. Have fun. Break a leg, and cheers for now.